This is part two of my Before YouTube build video of the history of the Blue Angels and history of the Thunderbirds in 1 to 72. And I show each model on the turntable with the history behind it. The Blue Angels were originally established as a Navy flight exhibition team on 24 April 1946 by order of Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Chester Nibbets. To generate greater public support for naval aviation, Lieutenant Commander Roy Marlin Butch Voris a World War II ace fighter, was selected to assemble and train a flight demonstration team. Vore selected three fellow advanced training command flight instructors with wartime experience. The first Blue Angels demonstration aircraft was the Grumman F6F5 Hellcat and wore navy blue with gold leaf lettering at the team's first demonstration before Navy officials on 10 May 1946, which was met with enthusiastic approval. On June 15th, Voris led three Hellcats numbered 1 through 3 through their inaugural 15-minute performance. The team thrilled spectators with low-flying maneuvers performed in tight formations and, according to Voris, quote, keeping something in front of the crowd at all times. After 10 appearances, the Hellcats were replaced by the lighter, faster, and more powerful F-8F-1 Bearcats. By the end of 1946, the team consisted of four Bearcats numbered 1 through 4, which officially adopted the familiar Blue Angels shades of blue and yellow. In May 1947, the new flight leader, Commander Bob Clark, and the team with an additional fifth pilot relocated to Naval Air Station Corpus Christi, Texas. On June 7th in Birmingham, Alabama, four Bearcats flew in diamond formation for the first time, now considered the Blue Angels' trademark. The fifth Bearcat was used as a Japanese Zero to dogfight with the Bearcats in air shows. In May 1949, the team went to the West Coast on temporary duty so the pilots and the rest of the team could become familiar with the new jet aircraft. The Blue Angels flew two versions, the F-9F2 and F-9F5, of the first jet aircraft operated by the team, the Grumman Panther. On 20 August 1949, the team, now with a sixth pilot, debuted their Panther jets during an air show at Beaumont, Texas. In 1950, the Blues continued to perform nationwide, but on 25 June, the Korean War started, and all six Blue Angel pilots volunteered for combat duty. The squadron was ordered to combat-ready status on 30 July. The Blue Angels were disbanded, and its pilots reassigned to the aircraft carrier USS Princeton on 9 November. This group formed the core of VF-191, Satan's Kittens. On 25 October 1951, the Blues were ordered to reactivate as a flight demonstration team and reported to NAS Corpus Christi, Texas. In May 1952, the Blue Angels began performing again in their F-9F-5 Panthers at an air show in Memphis, Tennessee. The swept-wing successor to the Panther, the F-9F-8 Cougar, equipped the Blue Angels for the next few years. They transitioned to the aircraft beginning in 1954 during their first winter training carried out at Naval Air Facility El Centro, California. That same year, the first Marine Corps pilot, Captain Chuck Hyatt, joined the Blue Angels, and in May, the Blue Angels performed with the Air Force Thunderbirds, activated 25 May 1953, for the first time together. In September 1956, the team added the opposing solo maneuvers by the 5th and 6th aircrafts to the flight demonstration and gave its first performance at the International Air Exposition in Toronto, Canada. In 1957, the Blue Angels transitioned to the supersonic Grumman F-11F-1 Tiger. The team operated in both the short nose and long nose versions. The first show in the short nose version was on 23 March at Bryan Field, Pensacola, Florida. With its sleek lines and afterburner, the Tiger proved to be one of the most popular aircraft flown by the Blue Angels. In the 1958 season, the first six-plane Delta maneuvers were added to the demonstration. In July 1964, the Blue Angels performed before an estimated crowd of 1.5 million people at an air show over Mexico City, Mexico, its largest crowd to that date. In 1965, the Blues embarked on a European tour, including the Paris Air Show, where they were the only team to receive a standing ovation. When replaced after the 1968 season, the F-11F Tiger marked the end of an era as the last Grumman-built so-called cat plane flown by the team. In 1968, the team transitioned to the F-4J Phantom II 
and in 1970 they went on their first South American tour. In 1971, the team conducted its first Far East tour, performing at a dozen locations in Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Guam, and the Philippines. In 1972, the Blue Angels were awarded the Navy's Meritorious Unit Commendation. Another European tour followed in 1973, including shows in Iran, England, France, Spain, Turkey, Greece, and Italy. On 10 December 1973, the Navy Flight Exhibition Team was reorganized and commissioned the United States Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, and the Blue Angels mission became more focused on U.S. Navy recruiting. In 1974, the Blue Angels transitioned to the more economical Douglas A-4F Skyhawk II. An airplane nicknamed Tinker Toy by pilots because of its small size, the A-4 contrasted sharply with its predecessor. Known for its nimble performance, the Skyhawk equipped the Blue Angels through the 1986 show season. And on 8 November 1986, the Blue Angels completed their 40th anniversary year during ceremonies unveiling what would be their aircraft through their 75th year, the McDonnell Douglas F-18 Hornet. The power and aerodynamics of the Hornet allow the Blues to perform a slow, high angle of attack tail sitting maneuver and to fly a dirty, landing gear down, formation loop. Flown by the Blue Angels for over three decades, longer than any other demonstration platform. In 1992, the Blue Angels deployed in their FA-18s for the first European tour in 19 years, conducting shows in Sweden, Finland, Russia, the first foreign flight demonstration team to perform there, Romania, Bulgaria, Italy, the United Kingdom, and Spain. In 1998, Commander Patrick Driscoll made the first blue jet landing on a haze gray and underway aircraft carrier, USS Harry S. Truman. In 2006, the Blue Angels marked their 60th year of performing. In 2009, the Blue Angels were inducted into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame in San Diego Air and Space Museum. On May 8, 2020, in response to the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States, the Blue Angels flew over multiple U.S. cities as a tribute to health care and frontline workers. In July 2016, Boeing was awarded a $12 million contract to begin an engineering proposal for converting the Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet for Blue Angels use with the proposal to be completed by September 2017. The Blue Angels officially transitioned to the Boeing Super Hornet on November 9, 2020. The U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds were created during the Cold War race for technological superiority with the Soviet Union to showcase the capabilities of the U.S. Air Force's high-performance aircraft and highlight its pilot skills and professionalism. After six months training in an unofficial status, the Thunderbirds were officially activated on 25 May 1953 as the 3600th Air Demonstration Team at Luke Air Force Base, where the team conducted their first public performance on June 8th, equipped with the F-84G Thunderjet, a straight-winged fighter bomber that had been the mainstay of the Korean War. The Thunderbirds performed at air shows and other events across the country, drawing crowds and generating enthusiasm for the Air Force. The next year, the Thunderbirds performed their first overseas shows, a tour of South and Central America, and added a permanent solo routine to the demonstration. Because the Thunderjet was a single-seat fighter, a two-seat T-33 shooting star served as the narrator's aircraft and was used as a VIP press ride aircraft. The T-33 served with the Thunderbirds in this capacity in the 1950s and 1960s. In the spring of 1955, the Thunderbirds transitioned to the swept-wing F-84F Thunderstreak. The team added two solo pilots who joined to form the six-plane Diamond and for the first time used white smoke generators to highlight their formations. The Thunderbirds performed 100 air shows in the Thunderstreak in 1955. The Thunderbirds aircraft were again changed in June 1956 to the F-100C Super Sabre, which gave the team supersonic capability. This switch was accompanied by relocation of their headquarters to Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, and the first assignment of buildings and hangar space dedicated to the team. 
It also signaled a shift in their performance routine. For example, the Cuban 8 opening routine was dropped. An emphasis was placed on low, screaming flyovers and demonstrations of takeoff performance. For a time, if the show's sponsors permitted it, the pilots would create a sonic boom. This ended when the FAA banned supersonic flight over the continental United States. Dual solo routines were introduced in 1962, and the Thunderbirds went on their first European deployment in 1963. The team switched to the F-105 Thunder Chief in the 1964 season, but were forced to re-equip with the F-100D after only six air shows due to a catastrophic structural failure of the number two aircraft during a pitch-up maneuver that resulted in the death of Captain Gene Devlin. The F-100D Super Sabre was retained through the 1968 season. On the 4th of July, 1969, in the presence of President Nixon in Colorado Springs, Nevada, the Thunderbirds introduced the frontline F-4E Phantom II, which it flew until 1973. This was the only period the Thunderbirds would fly jets similar to those of the Navy's Blue Angels, as it was the standard fighter for both services in the 1960s and 70s. The planes required alterations as the F-4 was a two-seat fighter plane in which the radio and navigation equipment were in the back. Thus, the Thunderbirds had this equipment moved to the front cabin. Later that year, the Thunderbirds would perform for their smallest crowd ever, only 30 people, at an Alaskan air show. In 1973, due to the oil crisis, the team flew only six air shows and was grounded for some time. In 1974, the Thunderbirds switched to the more economical T-38 Talon. Five T-38s used the same amount of fuel needed for just one F-4 Phantom. The switch saw an alteration of the flight routine to exhibit the aircraft's maneuverability in tight turns. In 1982, the Thunderbirds suffered a catastrophic loss during preseason training. On 18 January, while practicing the four-plane diamond loop formation, a mechanical problem with the number one aircraft's control stick, while the wing and slot pilots were visually cueing off the lead aircraft, led all four to impacting the ground at high speed. The team's activities were suspended for six months pending an investigation of the crashes and review of the program. In 1983, the Thunderbirds were reinstituted, again using a frontline fighter, the F-16A Fighting Falcon. The team performed their 3,000th air show in 1990 and upgraded to their current F-16C aircraft in 1992. In 1987, the Thunderbirds performed the first American military demonstration in a communist country when the team visited Beijing, China for an air show. Since 1953, the Thunderbirds have performed at over 4,000 air shows in front of more than 300 million people worldwide accumulating millions of miles in hundreds of different airframes over the course of their 70 years of service. Behind the flight demonstration teams of the Blue Angels and Thunderbirds, in addition to the aerobatic planes and pilots, there is also an impressive, well-coordinated team of technicians, administrative staff, aeromedical personnel, and press officers, among others, thus the importance of well-developed logistics. The Douglas C-54D Skymaster, shown here, was used by the Thunderbirds from the 1959 to the 1963 show seasons. The logistics aircraft is not only used to move the escort personnel, but may also be included as part of the demonstration. Well known, for example, are the impressive overflights, and even more spectacular, the demonstration of JADO or Jet Assisted Takeoff, to help the Blue Angels' Fat Albert get in the air from short runways. These support aircraft are yet another part of the huge collection of aircraft to participate in and support these two tremendous American aviation icons, the U.S. Navy Blue Angels and the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. I hope you've enjoyed this Before YouTube Build video, and as always, thanks for watching and happy modeling.